you are gonna drive yeah, yeah. from the Ica tomorrow. What? Okay, a little background info. It's currently Thursday and we're in Berlin for the Berlin e -Prix. WTF1 and Formula E have been trying to work out this weird mastermind of getting Matt a Formula E drive without Matt knowing. So Matt, from all of us at WTF1 and at Formula E, we hope you enjoy this. And so yeah, let's just get on with the trip and get me off of camera, I'm just gonna go away. Hello everyone, welcome to Berlin, Formula E, our first ever WTF1 experience out here and the sun is shining. As you can see, Matt is back in front of the camera doing his thing, but none of it matters, none at all. He genuinely believes that all we are doing is a vlog style video, which is frankly hilarious because he knows how much we hate vlogs. So uh, what do you think is going to be the best part of the weekend for you? Uh, watching the race, I'd say that one, because um, from what I understand, the, uh, the the race in lap one is ridiculous. Like, you know, from all the highlights that we've shared and, and stuff, it is absolutely crazy uh, what they get up to. And what about the rest of the weekend? Is there anything outside of the actual race? The well, quite ni cool. nicely brought up, Alistair. Yeah. I'm. Uh, well, we're going to go in a safety car lap uh, tomorrow, which is going to be cool. We had a lot of fun checking out Formula E for the first time, and I really enjoyed the fact that Matt knew absolutely nothing about the drive. So much so, we recorded a fake outro to the vlog and I even added in a cheeky little slip up. Just do a little outro segueing in tomorrow, so then we could use... Into tomorrow? Into tomorrow. Oh, okay. For you drive, for yeah, you, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. having your passenger lap of the yeah. truck. Yeah. But it is not over just yet. Tomorrow we're heading back here to have a passenger lap in a BMW i8. All right, I suppose that's enough from me. Let's finally break the news to Matt with none other than race winner, Daniel Abt. What's up, man? Hello, mate. Ah, How's it going? Snow, huh? <laughs> My lucky charm. I know, it's because of every good. race. It's good. It's good. How are you? Oh, very good. A bit exhausted now after the long day. I, I it's bet. a super long day, but uh, winning my home race, pole position, fastest lap, win. Uh, Checking them all yeah, off. It's, it's been a perfect day, really. And can you sum up for, for our viewers what it feels like to actually, what are the emotions right now of winning your home race? Like literally smashing it out of the park. I don't know. I mean, it's been, it's, it's hard to describe, but it's just, it's just it's so many emotions going through your head through your body, you go crazy, you jump out of the car, you celebrate with everyone, <laughs> yeah. spray champagne. It, okay. It's 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 unreal, it's the best feeling in the world. Uh, and I want to have more of it. And uh, I'll be taking some points away from Daniel next time. We'll go in a simulator or something and I'll beat you at that and then... Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, There's another thing you could do. I, I heard something. What's this? I heard that um, some guy that has the same name like you and actually looks like you, and I think it is you. Julian Palmer? Is <laughs> No, you are gonna drive yeah, yeah. from the Ica tomorrow. What? Yeah. Is that what you ah, were doing? Shut up. Yes. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, I am. <laughs> <What>? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's not till June. What? Yeah, yeah. Is that actually legit? That's true. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Yeah, you knew. I, I've been told just now that I can told. give you that. <laughs> what did you get told? <laughs> About a month ago. <laughs> Yeah, man, really good one. Oh, really? Thank you very much, Daniel. Enjoy it. Thank you. Oh my god. Enjoy it. Man. Oh my god. Really good. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Should we end this here before yeah. it starts crying and all that stuff? Yeah, I'll be crying after it. Yeah. Oh my. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is. That is. We're, gonna, we're just. I don't know what to do. I, I'm literally. I'm, I'm, I'm in pieces. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, turn that off now. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you, oh, oh, thank you very much, mate. What? That's my <laughs> <laughs> driving Formula E car tomorrow. Yeah. When? Tomorrow morning. At half ten. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I need to lie down. I don't know what to do. Where are we going? My legs are jelly. Huh? With that stuff, yeah. With now you can. Now I'm not getting drunk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen Matt this excited. I mean, I wasn't on the Formula One drive, but I have never seen him this excited. Daniel Apps, that was the best way you could possibly tell Matt what was happening.
Just don't crash it, yeah? So unfortunately, we're not going to get any audio of me driving because of health and safety. I wish I could take you on this journey. I'm actually quite upset that I can't give you my my reactions as I'm driving, but I promise you it will be a lot of screaming. Put on the brake, pull first gear, and that's it. And literally, you're ready to go. Ready to go? Yeah, go for it. Okay, here we go. So here I go, driving a Formula E car. You may have just heard me go, oh my, and that's exactly the, the feelings I was having. I was pretty scared of the fact that there was walls everywhere. It was a very very intense experience it's lap one at the moment you know i'm thinking i just need to remember where the corners are i'd been out in a bmw i8 previously for a few laps just to kind of get a sighter but this is very different it's a formula e car you get instant torque instant acceleration and oh god i really can't put it into words just watching this back it was unbelievable and coming down this straight it was really like wow okay i'm driving a formula car very 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 quickly and you know a lot of people say that you know formula one's quicker and etc but this was a totally different experience and it was one where i felt like i could start to push by the end of it but it was still extremely daunting and i did not want to crash it and this angle really shows how much i had to work the steering wheel because this circuit um is, is on a, an airport runway so as you can see front left lock up there's loads of bumps around this circuit which uh, and, and it's very abrasive as well on the tires so there's no issue of uh, getting tire temperature but at the same time it's very difficult to, to get the braking right as you'll see right about now oh goodness me watching that back makes me really cringe <laughs> as i almost had the most pathetic two mile an hour crash ever and you can, you can see not happy with myself at all but fortunately i missed the wall and uh, let's have a little listen to see what this formula e car sounds like I absolutely love this camera angle as well. It gives such a sense of speed that I don't think the T-cam does as much. And uh, this is lap four now, my final lap. I'm starting to push it a bit more now. I'm understanding how much I can push through the corners, how much, I, how hard I can press the brakes. The brakes were the most sort of interesting thing for me because it was very much stamp on the brakes and then release it slowly. Trail braking, I believe it's called. And, you know, it's something that I, I know the concept of, but actually applying it on a track and not crashing is a totally different experience but oh my goodness me even like coming a half a meter off the racing line at any point during this uh, lap you would have got loads of understeer because there was tons of marbles from uh, the, the racing that had gone on that weekend but my goodness me i absolutely loved every second and that bit was awesome as well losing the back end with a bit of oversteer oh, love it and that is my formula e drive awesome oh oh my god yes Woo! Off the brakes. Off the brake. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Oh my god. Oh wow, I'm, I'm actually overwhelmed. That was. Oh, that, oh, I genuinely felt by the end of it, I was kind of getting the hang of it a little bit more and understanding about how hard you have to press the brakes. And oh, that was so good. Oh my goodness me, that was sensational. I can't believe that I just drove a Formula E car. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh my God. I'm grinning from ear to ear. I don't know if you can probably see me squinting. Oh. Can I get out now? Is that, yeah. Oh. Oh. That was sensational! First Formula E drive, how do you find that? Yeah, that was pretty intense. That was uh, probably the most intense experience of my life purely because a street track is like, any time you make a mistake, I, you would have seen, I made a couple of mistakes out there just purely trying to get used to how hard I can press the brake and, and whatnot. <sighs> I'm actually, I'm exhausted. It was so cool. Uh, you know, We've got to say thank you to Formula E, haven't we, for having us out yeah. here. And it's been a great weekend. Driving a car, like what? I didn't know this yesterday. And I just didn't have time to repair. But, oh, sensational. And, you know, to give me like an out lap, three laps and then in. Yeah, that was, that was honestly awesome. But we've got to go. We've got to get home. We've got to go home. Back to, well, Heathrow for me, Gatwick for you. Gatwick for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can I go back out again? Just, just another three laps, please.
Maybe. Do you want to just go now? All right. Fine.